Uh, did she just wake up? I have no idea. What buttons are we using? Spacebar. Why did you turn the lights on all of a sudden? Do you do this? To do this to me, you could have put me out of my misery. What? <laughs> Does she not like being woken up or something? Look, I'll try to think about it next time. You blew my eyes out. I think I'm blind for life. Very funny. <laughs> not quite sure about the, the English on this one. <laughs> it's okay. It's not too bad um, just so far. The beep bop shuttle has successfully taken off. What? Its crew mainly composed of scientists, mission to find a planet that can be exploited for its resources. See you later, space cowboys. The Forgotten have been blocking the factory for one month. Damn it, we're not done hearing from them. A little music won't hurt us. Come on, guess up, we have a lot of work to do. I'm going to play the drum on your head. Wow, charming. With, the, with your lack of brain and your metal pro... Prothesis? It should sound good. God, I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> Let's have a good laugh. You can try. As soon as I get up, I'll kick your butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see it. So any ideas on how the evening is going to go? See that little chair over there? I think that, um, I think that th that's like the main thing for this game. It's something to do with like brain transplants or like going into, s I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll find out. I know I know there's something um, important with that chair anyway. I think like this is some kind of like company or something like that. So we, we will see. Let me know if the game volume's too loud or anything like that. I'm lagging again, oh no. Oh, this one, I remember you showed this on Discord. I did? I don't remember showing it on Discord. <laughs> Oh, um, I think for my test stream, it might have been in that, actually, when I was testing it. That might be what it is, actually. <laughs> cool puppy names. Yeah, it's really cute. Um, you've been there for two weeks. You know the routine now. Just make the patients feel comfortable while I turn on the machine. I'm not worried. My angel face will soothe them. Wow. <laughs> She's very confident. Yet it is not a gift to see it all day long. <laughs> These two have a really interesting chemistry. Go around the clinic to check if everything works and if everything is in place. Very well. All right. I want to learn more about this machine. Can I click on it and learn what it actually is? Because I think this is like the main thing for this this game right now. Yeah, the test stream. Yeah, I did do a, a test stream. Um, so I always test stuff before I play them because my PC sometimes uh, lags with certain games so I always have to do tests which is a pain in the butt which is why I'm definitely gonna look into getting an upgrade at the end of the year I think that would be amazing actually but we'll see I got my consoles at the end of last year though so I'm happy <laughs> was that you again Drake <laughs> I'm going to be hearing that in my dreams, I swear. Future? Yeah, it's futuristic. It really is. It definitely does look that way. I don't seem to be able to interact with anything, though. At least I don't see... Oh, oh, hold on. There we go. These little computers are handy. They allow me to learn a little more about my surroundings. I even read Return to the Obra Din. Oh, that's a game. Oh, I've actually played a bit of that game too. However, I'm not sure it was the best reading to fall asleep. <laughs> was it scary or something? Can I have, have a look at the cat? Franklin, be a good little cat. Our little cat's called Franklin, how adorable. Can I interact with the chair then? My beloved little face hugger. All the references from Alien, right? It looks clean and ready to use. Oh, I wonder what this means. Stretch your legs and see if everything is in its place. Okay, we'll definitely, definitely do that. Let's see, it doesn't like, there's no like thing to like tell you what things you can interact with. You kind of just have to press space bar and just see what, see what pops up. Bernard's whiskey, a bottomless glass, never empty, always full. He shouldn't drink strong alcohol. Hey Fran, I see our first patient on the camera. Remember, try to make him comfortable. Okay, okay, I'll stand at the door. You know how it works. I don't, but I'm curious to find out. <laughs> less stress, less danger. Okay, don't worry. Is this like gonna be an emotional experience, I wonder? Good morning, madam. Please come in. 
Thank you very much. This is the first time I'm going to have a memory copied. She's gonna copy her memory. That's really interesting. It makes me a little anxious. Okay. Okay, so don't worry. What do we need to digitize? Digi digitize, <laughs> even. Stress off or you may die. Imagine like, just like going into this one of these places and don't stress out or you'll die. <laughs> That would like make you feel so so much worse. Okay, what do you want me to to uh, copy? So when was the memory that we have to copy? Last Wednesday. It was a special day for me. I wish to copy it for someone close to me. So does that mean you can copy it and then like give it to someone? You can like pass your memories to other people? That would be amazing. So that he can inherit it just in case. That's so cool. Very well. Imagine if you could do that. Maybe we will have the technology one day to do something like that. <laughs> just keep swimming, just keep swimming, dum 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 dum. It's literally going to be in my head all day. <laughs> Monkey Island was great back in the day. Oh yeah, Monkey Island is fantastic. I actually, I got, I haven't played all of them, but I've played the first one actually a few times and I really like Monkey Island. I haven't played them all though, I've only played the first one. <laughs> I've had... Saria's song stuck in my head for half a week at the moment. I don't even know what song that is. Is that bad? <laughs> I just noticed I think you gifted me an extra box. Oh no! <laughs> That's okay. It happens sometimes. Please come with me. All right, let's see what we have here. Sit in the chair, take a deep breath, and as soon as you put the mask on, it will already be the end of the... Oh God, I have... I don't know why I struggle with this word. Digitization process. There we go. I can do it. <laughs> Please take place. Are you comfortable? Yes. All right, here we go. Indeed, the patient was a little stressed, but nothing serious. I should be able to handle it. I found the memory. Let's go. I have a question running through my mind. You know what this reminds me of? Oh, what was that game called? I played a game. It was like a little indie game, and it was. It reminds me so much of this. Could you go into people's memories? Um, to the moon I think it might have been called to the moon and it was a really really short game but it was actually really good I think they're making a sequel to it as well actually there's another game for us to suggest then monkey island 2 <laughs> that's a good idea I do have it as well so that could be a cool idea I have a pet parrot named Ed oh interesting that's cool have you taught it to say anything can it talk I did the deed while you were AFK. Oh, okay, that's why we ended up with two. I see. <laughs> that's okay. Okay, I have a question running through my mind. It would be more accurate to call our patients clients, wouldn't it? I mean, we're not performing a medical operation as such. We copy memories on an external support. You just put it on your hard drive. <laughs> just put it, just plug it in on the USB. <laughs> You're not totally wrong. I think it's an old habit that I find difficult to get rid of off who cares it's fine patients clients same thing i wish i could say the same that's it i'm done all right hello again madam it was quick i feel like i just had my mask put on i told you you may stand up thank you follow me i'll show you the way out and that was it wow i was expecting to actually like see her memory or something i would have liked to have seen it oh what a scatterhead with all the emotions i forgot to take my memory you just left your memory oops forgot my brain <laughs> don't worry it's already safe in your home but how a magician never reveals his secrets okay i have no choice but to trust you so i wish you a good evening let me open the door for you Good evening, ma'am. How kind. You too. Thank you and have a safe trip. Not so fast, Fran. Our next patient is at the door. It's strange. Why? The jacket he wears is the government's. Okay, just got real. But I can't recognise the logo on his arm, alright? I don't know if he's a customer or if he's coming to cause us trouble. Dun dun dun! Oh my god. We're still going to be on our guard, right? Maybe he's got government secrets that he wants to copy. <laughs> I don't know. It's a conspiracy. Get your tinfoil hats on. <laughs> yes, you're right. Please, be as attentive as possible to the smallest details. Good evening, sir. Don't stay outside, please. Come in. Good evening, madame. What brings you to our clinic? I recently met a friend who, recommend, 
who recommended your establishment for my emergency. Your speed and discretion are, it seems, unparalleled. Okay, we are the best in our field. As far as discretion is concerned, we need to have some gaps. Otherwise, who would come to us? Who is your friend, a former patient? Yeah, I can see that um, probably English was not their first language. I definitely don't think so. But it's not so bad that I can't understand it. I've seen worse translations, honestly. So it's, it's not terrible, but it's also like not 100% um the best english <laughs> in some parts for sure but it's it's manageable i think okay so let's just say we're the best in our field that's why i looked for you and found you all right well let's get started then so when was the last memory that we have to copy there is this is an event that took place very recently just today actually wow okay very well are you not going to ask more about it? I, I want to know. I want to know more info. <laughs> what is this memory? What's all about these, these government secrets? Joseph Koenig asks, would you rather have a pet cat or pet dog? I would rather have a pet dog because dogs are very cuddly and I love the companionship between a dog and a human. I think it's adorable and cats just kind of do their own thing. They just kind of, you know, just go outside and spend most of the time in other people's houses. And so I, I've had a few cats that... Um, have just kind of disappeared for like two weeks and I'm just like where's my cat gone <laughs> just disappeared just gone to live somewhere else or something so I think I would much prefer a dog for sure let's see um I, I see uh Saria's song The Lost Woods is from Zelda Ocarina of Time oh that's why I didn't know I've not played it so of course I wouldn't know that <laughs> it can talk but it's wordy I see your, what can your parrot say? What he a robber? Arrest this man. Oh, are you talking about the dude who just walked into our uh, our establishment? <laughs> I thought you were saying that's what the parrot can say. Is the Zelda soundtrack really good? I don't know what the music's like in that. I have no idea. Finally, a nice would you rather. I know. <laughs> I've had some really like really hard ones to uh, to pick from. <laughs> Dogs are lovable and cats are kind of snobbish. This is true. I do like cats as well because they do some really silly, funny things. And I think that they're really fun sometimes. But I do prefer dogs. I really do. The cats seem like they have an interesting personality. Yeah, they do. They definitely do. Please sit down and take a deep breath. And as soon as you put the mask on, it will already be the, the process. Okay, please take your place. Are you comfortable? Yes. All right, here we go. He is connected, his condition is stable, although he has a strong sense of fear. Okay, well, I have to find that memory, it shouldn't take too long. Well, I mean, doing something like this would terrify me as well. Okay, he's not unfriendly, but he sounds like a bad liar. How do you figure? Like, we spoke to him for like two seconds. How do you know? <laughs> we said hello and that's it. <laughs> I wonder about this memory here he is trying to explore. Like, why didn't you ask him? Is there, like, some kind of, like, confidentiality or something where you can't ask? I have no idea. Wait, Fran, we have a problem. I need a little silence to think. Okay, what's going on? I can't access his memories. The last one I see is his arrival at the clinic. Is that a chip with a security? Oh my god, he's got a chip in his head. <laughs> I thought the project had been abandoned. I don't like it, but I'm going to make an exception to my ethics. Okay, are we breaking your moral boundaries here? What's going on? We're going to have to read all of the memories and go back to the reason for his coming. Right, so I think there must be something like where they can't like read people's memories because obviously it's private stuff, right? So I guess what he's, that's what he's saying. He's saying that this is morally incorrect because we're not allowed to read people's memories, but we're going to have to do it this time. Okay, when I built the chair, I had... I had... In... I don't know what that said. I don't know. I had safety. I don't know. That's how I was able to create such an efficient machine. It always works the same way, but this time it's up to us to find the right word. If you type a word, the bubble and the corresponding memory will automatically unlock. 
the most right-handed memory bubble is the one we need to unlock. I trust you, Fran. Are you ready? Always. Okay, it's getting serious. Don't forget, you can't type numbers, okay? And if you need help, type my name. Try words about his coming or his condition. All right, I have no idea where this is going, but <laughs> let's find out. All right, so try words about his... What does that mean? Try words about his coming. <laughs> try words about... What? <laughs> his psych or his, his his physique even, or his mental state. If you need my help, just type Bernard. I can type stuff. Okay, let's type, let's type spy. Is he a spy? He's actually a spy from the Forgotten. It seems he's on a mission in the government. Was I right? I just guessed a random word. <laughs> okay, wait. Um, let's see. Let's try, let's try government. He's a scientist. He is? I feel safer, he's not a spy. He works in a laboratory and it seems that the logo comes from there. Let's type logo. Hmm, I don't know what it means, but he's a government man. All right, let's try, um, what did you say? Uh, let's try scientist? No? Uh, labor- Oh my god, my, my spelling, I can't even spell it. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, let's try lab. I can't spell. <laughs> Um, I think I spelt that wrong. Anyways, try projects. Okay. Oh, you're right. The government work on the hive mind is the name of the new the new project. Hive mind. Great. You managed to unlock the bubble you wanted, but that's terrible. We'll talk about it as soon as you leave the program. It's up to you to keep exploring to see if you can find any more details. Anyway, when you're done, just type quit. So that was the one we needed. Um, but it looks like we can explore like a little bit more. So let's see. Laboratory. Lab <laughs> I know it's something. Lab I'm so bad at spelling sometimes. There we go. I got it. I knew that was one of them. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> Today seems to be a busy day in the laboratory, the D-Day for the new project of the of the chip. So that was one of them, so that's cool. I'm surprised scientist wasn't one of them. Did I misspell scientist? Maybe I did. Let's see. Um, I'll have a look. <laughs> I think I did it right. Oh, <laughs> mistyped. Like that. No, it's not, it's not one. I don't think it is one. So that sucks. I'm surprised at that. I want to find more of them. <laughs> Spelling challenge 2021. <laughs> I should have known how to spell that, honestly. <laughs> but um, I, I messed up. Uh, let's see. Dogs love their caretakers and cats love themselves more. That's kind of true, I suppose. I do like cats too. They always seem to be more aloof, whereas dogs always want to love you and be loved cats it's as and when that's true it don't, you don't need to you know spend as much time there what game is this now this game is called don't forget me and we are trying to figure out what memory this guy um is trying to copy um people in this game try to copy their memories or something but this guy seems really shady so we're trying to figure out what he's after try agency okay mission blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh <laughs> Spell it wrong. There we go. He must be infiltrating the government in search of information on a manipulation device. Manipulation. Ah, he infiltrated the government on the day the first place of the hive mind. I've gone like so many places, but not the words that we need. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's hard. I want to find more. What about memory? Um, scheme. No. Um. <laughs> Let's see. We don't have to find all of the words, but I kind of wanted to. Cats are misunderstood. They do actually love their owners. Yeah, they just don't need as much attention as dogs do, I suppose. Uh, what happens if I type Bernard? We've got the information we want. I don't want to dig deeper into his memory. My ethics forbid it. But you do what you want. I am not your father. If you want to leave, type quit. <laughs> That's funny. Do so you think device? No, it's not device. Um, hmm. So logo. What about his jacket? His jacket! 
Apparently he hasn't had this jacket for long. He's a new government recruit. What about his beard? <laughs> I was just, just messing about. Um, uh, that's the only thing they really mentioned was like the jacket and the logo and that he seems suspicious. Suspicious. <laughs> no, it's not that either. Suspect. Um, shady. <laughs> No, these words don't work. I don't get it. He is from the government agency spying on the government. I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Oh man, the last word. I wonder what it could be. Hmm. The logo. I wonder what the one, two, and the three are like by the picture. Maybe his hair. No. I just thought it was like corresponding to like parts of his body, but I don't think so. Hmm. I don't know if there are any more words that I can think of here. There's only one more thing. I guess that will do. We don't need to find all of the words. He said something about words that related to his coming here. Let's try brain, memory, I don't know. This game seems kind of fun, though the dialogue is a bit awkward, yes. Um, there are some translation issues, for sure, that um, I think really do ruin experiences. Like, it, sometimes like I've actually like stopped playing some demos when the translation has been like too bad. It does ruin the experience sometimes, but I've played worse than this. There's definitely been worse. <laughs> okay, so reason or why? Nah, I, I don't know. I really don't know what the last one is. But we found two out of three, so I think that was really good. That was really good. All right, so what have we found? Okay, the government is developing developing a data center for the chip. I should have put chip. I don't know if I did that. In the greatest secrecy, the installation of a chip was already a child's play. The update of the chip will go unnoticed by the world. It only needs to be connected to any network. The uniqueness of people will disappear in favour of a single consciousness. What? It's just going to be like one consciousness? That's crazy. A kind of central brain controlled by the uh, government. There's some crazy stuff going on here. We are headed to big problems. Big problem. <laughs> We're going to get our new friend out of there. Hello again. We, uh, from the look on your faces, I think you found the memory in question. We don't want any problems. Okay, don't worry. My friend was right. You are the right people for us. Let me introduce myself. My name is Edaro. I've never seen that name before. What are the government's plan for the Hive Mind project? Why did you come to us? The government wants to eradicate all human in individuality. Oh my gosh, it's happening. It's real. They want to computer, computer chip our brains. It's real stuff happening here. <laughs> to control people's thoughts and memories. You know, there are some people who actually do think that the government are trying to do that. And who knows? Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. I don't know. <laughs> the best way to make a person disappear is for the whole world to forget about them, to control your actions and make you forget them, to make you forget the pain after being injured and so on. This is only the tip of the iceberg. Uh, the iceberg? The iceberg, even. The beginning of the deployment. Why do you have a secure chip? As you can see from my jackets, I infiltrated the governments. Unfortunately, I didn't choose to have my chip secured. They managed to update it directly. Your skills and the machine you built. You're not just another copyist. So, like, what happens if the government catch on to the fact that we, like, digged into his memory? He did, he did say something about he, that he didn't secure, secure it, right? So maybe that's, maybe it's fine. I don't know. You even have created a machine that can bypass ki chip security. Oh, there we go. She is also able to read memories independently from each other. Your reputation precedes you. That's why we chose to meet you and test you. Who is we? Is this like an organization? Oh my god. Okay. Gavo and I are the leaders of a group, the Forgotten. For some time now, we have been following the creation of the Hive Mind projects. That is why I infiltrated the government, and our fears are proved to be right. We want and we must stop this madness. And how do you plan to do that? The location of the data center and the project's leaders are unknown, at least not by conventional scientists. We're going to have to turn up the Hydra and cut off its heads, and that's where you come in. 
not in decapitation, rest assured, but in the search for those heads. To do this, I can send you people whose memories will have to be thoroughly searched. Right, so we're going to have to search through people's memories and find out stuff about the government. It's kind of an interesting setup, actually, and try to follow the trail. We hope that you will find the location as soon as possible. We have a sword of Damocles over our heads. A what? I don't know. And the worst part is that when it falls, we won't even feel it. If you join us, I can convince a specific scientist to come here. She is working in secret on a way to enter virtually into memory bubbles. The chip records everything down to the last detail. You will find things to exploit. Please join us. We cannot let go of the individual freedom of all men. What about women? Both? I guess it means both. <laughs> Servitude is not a viable option, and you know it deep down. Manipulation has never led to anything conclusive. You certainly are the only people who can help us in a peaceful way. So, will you join us? Join us or die! <laughs> if I have to get my hands dirty a second time for what seems right to me, I will. Well, okay. <laughs> he just kind of threw his morals out the window. Like, as long as it's for a good cause, it's okay to dig around in people's brains. <laughs> but do, do we at least get permission? I don't even know. I have no idea. Strange. Um, yeah, Chip would have been a really good one. I reckon, I reckon we could have found something with Chip. I've played worse. I have. Do you remember Black Book? That translation was bad. I gave up on that game. I actually have seen that they're putting voice acting in for it, but um, I don't think they've changed the demo since I last played it, so the translation is still really bad for that game. This is crazier than The Matrix. <laughs> yes, it's uh, crazy. Oh, oh no, only chocolate, chocolate chips in my brain. Are you sure? Are you sure that there weren't real chips inside that chocolate chip cookie? There might have been. <laughs> I'm stuck in an epic music loop now. Currently hoist the colours from At World's End. Oh, are you listening to game soundtracks? It sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Ice bird. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes the strange, strangest things comes out of my mouth. <laughs> I love the backgrounds. They are very pretty, actually. I do really like them, too. The sort of Damocles. Oh, I, pro I pronounced it wrong, I think. How about you, Fran? All right. Uh, it's too dangerous. I don't want to go. No, you can't take me alive. Are you sure you don't want to? Maybe we'll find some information about your story. What's my story? All right, you can count on me. That's all it takes. Sure. <laughs> Welcome to the Forgotten. The network is not sprawling, but we have a lot of influence. I will personally ensure that the scientist I told you about comes here as soon as possible. Okay, her name is Pear. I'll ask her to introduce herself when she comes, okay? I'm not staying here any longer. I have a meeting with Gavel. Very well. All right then. <laughs> I, was, I was so awkward. <laughs> but okay, if you need to contact me, don't hesitate. All right, we'll wait here to hear from you as soon as possible. I really liked the like um, word game thing that we had though. Have a good evening. Okay, you too. I need to get out of here to think. It's true that it's a lot, inf a lot of information at once. Come with me. I'll show you one of my favourite places. We're going to go to the Blood Hoof Hoof Bar. Oh my god. We'll be fine there. I don't know. The name kind of sounds a little shady. That was it. Um, we did it. <laughs> that was so quick. That felt sh so short. Okay, the Moon Pirates. Thank you for playing the demo. What, who are the Moon Pirates? Oh, they're the, the developers are called the Moon Pirates. I love their their name, actually. That sounds really cool. So um, I feel like that game actually has potential, but definitely needs work on the translation. Have you also tried this game out? I would love to hear your thoughts on this game. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate that. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. It's only $1 a month to gain access and I'm currently uploading exclusive anime review videos only on Patreon. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.